Commissioner, just in relation to the policing bill that, that was brought forward to government earlier this week, Angarda Shikona had previously raised concerns about it. Are you satisfied with the bill in its current form? Or are there any outstanding issues that you would like to uh, continue discussions with? Uh, well, we've engaged uh, extensively in respect for the bill, and, and now that the bill is before they rocked us, it's not appropriate for me to comment on, on that bill publicly. Uh, we would still uh, be in, um, in negotiation or consultation with the, the, with the department, obviously, as it proceeds, and in terms of whatever amendments uh, may, be, may be made through the legislative process. But uh, it's a matter of policy that once a, a piece of legislation before the doll, we, we don't comment publicly on it. But we've had, uh, I'd say, ample opportunity in the in, uh, between um, the Police and Service for the Future being published and then uh, the initial draft of this bill to make uh, you know, expansive submissions, and that's happened. In relation to um, the, the Gardaí involved in the incident at the weekend, I know obviously there are people before the courts at the moment, but if for those individuals who were involved, the Gardaí members, how are they at this point? Well, I've, I've spoken to both, mem both members and uh, they are in good spirits and, and they are making a recovery. Uh, I don't want to go into you know, the, the specific injuries that they suffered, but um, both of them did require uh, hospital treatment and, um, and then are in effect now resting, recuperating. As I say, in good spirits, looking forward to getting back to work uh, uh, despite the incident that, um, that, that happened and like many of our members who, who face these sorts of attacks, they, they do get a lot of support from their colleagues, uh, from their media colleagues, from the organisation and from their staff associations and we're very much concerned for, the well, for their well-being and make sure that they make a speedy return to work. Here it's a state-of-the-art facility, everyone can see that, but is it large enough to facilitate all of the guard units that had been stationed previously in Harcourt Street? Well, what you'll find is you have a number of units that were in Hardcore Street that are now stationed here, but you also have a number of units that weren't. So obviously when the plans were made for uh, this particular building, over time plans have changed and units and teams uh, have been moved to other different areas. So this is a, a significant piece of the Garda estate. Uh, it's a huge amount of investment, but it's not the only investment that's obviously happening either in Dublin or, or right across the country. So what's important is that every member and all of the teams are, are stationed in and have their own base and that it's uh, up to date, it's modern, it fits for purpose and that's obviously the plan that we're working on over the next few years as we roll out what is quite a, a substantial capital plan overall.